one day my homeboy was like, man, ain't nobody got no song about the slab. He said, ain't nobody talking about the tight white, the bulb headlights, bro. The fifth wheel, the grill, man. Man, you need to talk about that. So that's how I created Swingin' and Bangin'. Who's broke and some low pro bowls? Tight white, bubba headlights, shite the G's paw. Damn, there go the lot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You guys, man, man, when you think of Houston, man, you know, cause I used to, I'm a, I'm a crazy Pimp C fan. He Me always too. showed you so much love, man. Yeah, man. I would always hear it. You know what I mean? He he respected the hell out of you. I, he used how to call me all the time. How bro. did y'all, and, and I, I'm going to wait for that. Let's just stop that right now because I got somebody I want to talk with you about that with all anyway. Right. But he did used to be calling your name out a lot, man. So swinging and banging, man. This is when I first, you know, rock locked into you. Right. Um, how did you come up with? I remember some TVs being in the damn car. I remember oh, yeah, the we, car. My this was a long time ago. Yeah, See, yeah. you weren't used to seeing TVs in the car uh, then. White inside TVs. We had. A, I remember, a, like a sail, a sail in the car. Yeah. Nineteen ninety five. So fools give it to me, and this is for them buster type G's who wanna do me. Yeah. You know what so I'm saying? how did you come up with that cover, and, and and how was you so far ahead of your time? Man, because, you know, I was really real. Everything I rapped about was really real. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And the people I'm around, the my OGs, and what we did was really real. And so one day my homeboy was like, man, ain't nobody got no song about the slab. He said, ain't nobody talking about the tight white, the bulb headlights, bro. The fifth wheel, the grill, man. Man, you need to talk about that. So that's how... I created swinging and banging. Who's broke and some low pro bowls? Tight wide bubba head like shite the G's paw. Damn, that go the lot. You feel what I'm saying? I started rapping when I was 12. Okay. 13, my first talent show. Boom, 14, 15, 16, 17. And losing I'm from a small town called Bogaloosa, yeah, right, out, yeah. right outside New Orleans. The first person I won money on was Tim Smooth. That was a rapper from New Orleans. He had a concert that won $1,000. Bam. So I go to college in Lafayette. When I get to Lafayette, it's a legendary club called Club Strawberries. I saw Tupac get a chain snatched in there. I saw Shaq get beat up in there. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's so, a hell of a club. A hell of a club. That's the first time I found out what a real bouncer was. Because, see, from my long time, we ain't had no bouncer. Yeah. So the bouncer come up to me and say, hey, man, put that weed out. I'm looking at big old nigga. I'm the gangster. I'm running to you, man. Nigga, I ain't putting put no weed out. I turn my back and <laughs> That nigga gave me a widget. That Want you a part of them? I pick my ass up, threw me out of the club. So yeah. Nigga, next week I go back. I'm like, uh, uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> but that I told them they had a show, so I say, man, give me the mic. So the DJ was like, now nah. so everybody that had been seeing me at college, killing the college parties, was like, man, give that the mic. I tell that bitch that the, the club owner said, hey man, UGK outside in the limo. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. want to go meet him? I'm like, hell yeah. So I go outside, I get in a limo. Pimpin' Bun sitting there. Uh, Bun had like a zip, a rigid, an ounce of rigid yeah, weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we had. Some weed back yeah. then. Pimp C had a little 380 sitting right there. Yeah, gangsta. I had yeah. one too. Now. So he said. <laughs> yeah, guy wants to do that. Yeah, that little 380 come in handy. Mm -hmm. So Pimp say, so little nigga, you want to be a rapper? I'm like, yeah, nigga. Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He say, well, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Good. It happened. And that was the first time I met you him. Ever you ever met him? After that, we just got super cool. It wasn't even about music with us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.